Under the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, the controller is a central figure, bearing the primary responsibility for ensuring compliance with the regulation's data protection principles. A controller is defined as the natural or legal person, public authority, agency, or other body which, alone or jointly with others, determines the purposes and means of the processing of personal data. This role is pivotal because it involves decision-making power over the why and the how of personal data processing activities. Criteria for determining controllership. The determination of who is a controller is a fact-based process, requiring a careful examination of the entity that exercises decision-making authority over the processing activities. The guidelines outline several key criteria for identifying a controller. 1. Decision-making authority. The controller has the ultimate say in why personal data is being processed, the purposes, and how it will be processed, the means. 2. Legal basis or factual influence. Controllership can stem from legal obligations or from factual circumstances where an entity has the power to influence processing activities. 3. Type of entity. Any type of entity, including companies, government bodies, and individuals, can be a controller if they meet the decision-making criteria. 4. Operational impact. The actual operations of processing, including decisions over data access, data types processed, processing duration, and data recipients, play a crucial role in identifying a controller. Joint controllership. The guidelines also address the concept of joint controllership, where two or more entities collaboratively determine the purposes and means of processing. This arrangement necessitates a transparent agreement outlining their respective responsibilities, particularly regarding the rights of the data subjects and obligations towards data protection authorities. The essence of this arrangement must be accessible to data subjects, ensuring that their rights are safeguardable against all parties involved. Responsibilities of controllers. Controllers bear the brunt of compliance obligations under the GDPR. They are accountable for adhering to data protection principles, ensuring lawful processing, implementing appropriate security measures, and upholding data subjects' rights. This includes data protection by design and by default, implementing measures that meet GDPR standards throughout the processing lifecycle. Data processing agreements. When engaging processes, controllers must ensure the relationship is governed by a contract stipulating GDPR compliance obligations. Documentation and evidence of compliance. Maintaining records of processing activities and demonstrating compliance measures to supervisory authorities upon request. Implications of controllership. Determining controllership is not merely a bureaucratic step but has profound implications for data protection compliance. Controllers must navigate the GDPR's requirements, from legal basis for processing to data protection impact assessments and beyond. Missteps or ambiguity in defining controllership can lead to compliance risks, including potential fines and damage to reputation. Conclusion. The EDPB's guidelines on the concepts of controller and processor under the GDPR serve as an essential compass for navigating the complex landscape of data protection responsibilities. For entities processing personal data within the EU and EEA, understanding and accurately identifying the controller role is foundational to achieving GDPR compliance. These guidelines illuminate the path to compliance, emphasizing the need for clarity, accountability, and proactive measures in data processing activities.